Yo, what's up guys, you are Omar Samson back with another Apex Legends video. Now, on this video, it's me explaining to you guys how to have no more input lag on console and on PC. But this is more focused on PC with controller players. But of course, we will mention some small stuff and stuff that you can do on PC. So, let me go straight guys with the console first. So, since most of the people that are watching me are playing on console. So, let me go straight guys with the console thing. If you guys have a PC, I mean if you guys have a monitor or if you have a TV, it doesn't matter. There should be a game mode. If you guys don't know what game mode is, you can simply go to the settings, to the TV setting, which is the picture settings in your, in your monitor or TV, and you'll find something called game mode. Once you turn this off, I mean once, once you turn this on, you will have less input lag by probably 5%, but which, which is a huge advantage for you guys so i recommend to turn it on now after you guys done with this you can start the next step the next step is simply that the most one that i've been talking about in most of my videos which is in the controller settings you go straight down and to the lc so there's something called response curve and there's something called that dead zone now if you guys ask me what this has to do with input lag the input lag is something that you will take time it will take time to achieve on the screen so your controller will take time to achieve something on the screen once you press something it will take time uh, to do something so if you have lower response curve the response you will feel that you're more you'll feel slightly faster and all your menu all your ya allah you'll feel that pressing stuff will so once you have lower response curve guys you'll feel there is less input lag and the same goes to that zone i'm not saying that you should put it into zero percent but having it lower is better for custom players and most of the controller players so if you guys want to play like mouse and keyboard players and feel so smooth in the game i recommend to turn this down a bit if you don't want to turn it to zero you can just turn it a little bit down from the default and you'll notice a huge difference with the tracking and of course your aim and everything now let me go straight guys with this other step which is for the controller on pc this is all what you can do guys on console since console doesn't support uh, like already support the input like thing and already does it on default so you cannot change anything there so if you are guys on pc on controller on pc let me go with this detail and follow these steps Alright guys, so now here in the desktop as you can see guys, there is something here called driver. Now if you want to download this, there's a link in the description down below in my video guys if you want to download it. Of course you guys should download it, I mean. So download this and then extract it to desktop right here. Or you can de uh, extract it wherever you guys want. But I recommend on desktop since it's gonna be shown uh, right here. So after you extract the file that you downloaded from the link in the description down below, all you have guys to do is go through it, go to the driver, and there you will find something called setup, alright? So once you find something called setup, you find a lot of stuff that you don't have to touch with. So once you find the setup, just press right click and then open. After you open it, it will say, do you want to allow this app from unknown, blah 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 blah. You then press yes, alright? So after you press yes, this will appear. So, over here is called devices. On the devices, you press into the all all right after you press the all you will have you will see something called game controller all right this is it uh, it will appear once your controller is plugged into the pc so plug your control make sure that you plugged you plug your controller into the pc and you're ready to go after you've done this then press here on the game controller then after you press this then press install service so after you've done this first step the second step you guys need to do is filter on device all right here it's called filter on device you press next to it and it's called there's default 1000 i mean selected rate all right so there's default 1500 blah 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 you press 1000 all right choose 1000 after you choose 1000 then install again press install again after you finish this then you go to the filter on device and you toggle it on all right make sure it's toggled on it's ticked once you have the ticked is uh, press again install so that's all what you should do guys after you finish with all these steps then unplug your controller and plug it back again after you've done that they will the the game controller will show as it goes like this filter yes rate 1000 this one is one all right 
so that's how it will look all right guys so if you want to follow the steps again and did not follow it uh, good then just restart the video and see how it is it is done all right after you finish that then just go back and you're done all right that's it all right guys so what this does is it will have less input lag on your controller since most of the people watch others on pc with controller and they notice something that they have literally zero i mean zero recall and all that it's because of the input lag all right guys the less input lag you have in the game the less recall and the more accurate you are so let's say i have a vault right here which is 2x volt and i aim and i shoot like this you, you can see there's literally zero recall guys and of course if you guys watch my other videos i've never used this but now i've been using it since i turned to pc and i felt much better with this and no it, you don't need to use chronos or strike bear or whatever it's called all you guys need to do is just do the followings have lower input lag uh mess with the response curve mess with the dead zone as much as you can and you will have literally less recall so yeah this is it guys this is the video that uh you guys wanted me to do so if you guys want to me to know to do to drop a video of my video settings or whatever you guys want or more tips and tricks on how to have um this stuff that i've done the setup or whatever then drop a comment and let me know and i'll show you guys other stuff anyway guys see you in the next one peace